Hey everybody, how are you? I hope everybody's doing good. Y'all, this is Sunday night, and this will probably be the last video I do till I get back from my trip. So, I told you and gave you a little sneak peek the other day and told you I was working on this little book. Well, y'all, I have pretty much finished it, so I thought I would bring it to you and show you. Now, y'all, this is using the Deluxe Collector's Edition Graphic 45 Portrait of a Lady. And I love this because it came with the stickers and the chipboard pieces and all these gorgeous papers. There was two each of 12 double-sided 12 by 12 papers. And then the two 6 by 6 or 6 by 12 stickers and 6 by 12 uh, chipboard piece. Now, like I said, everything was included in it, and I love this collection. It's beautiful. Let me show you, though. I want to show you the reason. Now, I love the 8 by 8 or the 6 by 6 You see all these beautiful pictures? Well, every one of these pictures, except for these little ones, and even that one, is too big to go in one of these small journals. That's the reason I like, even if I buy a couple pieces of the big paper, I like the 8 by 8 or the 6 by 6 because then I can use them for what I need to. Now, this journal is not very big. It measures 5 inches by 4 inches. So, you've got 5 inches long, 4 inches wide. So, that's not, let's see, make sure I've got that. Yeah, 4 inches and 5 inches, yeah. Four by five. So that's not a whole lot of room to work. And as you can see, most of those pictures would take up the whole area. And that's not really practical inside it. The frames is what makes it. So I'm going to take these and probably make tags to go inside the journal. Because the little tags I have left as is inside this. Now this is a graphic 45 and it is called a tag book. And now, I don't know what they cost now and all, but when I bought this one, I bought it over at the shop that uh, Fancy Pants managed, and I paid $10 for work. And, of course, you know, that's just the plain little book. So, I bring it home and had it put up for a long time because I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do with it. So, what I have done when I started, I antiqued the edges on the outside. I added this and it says, elegance is beauty that never fades. And I believe that is, that's just what elegance is. That's what being a lady is. And I love the fact it's called Portrait of a Lady. Now, on the side, I just added the truly wonderful, hello beautiful, and then just a little bit of uh, the ephemera around it. Now, on the back... I added a piece of background paper, and I added one of these pieces that just had where you can write on it. And I put Portrait of a Lady Created by Country Girl First Crafts in the date. So that, you know, that right there sealed it. I used these little bitty gold ephemera dots here. Now this is a chipboard tag. And what i done, I took this chipboard tag and I added one of these little stickers and it says, this belongs to. So when I get ready to gift this, I can put a name here. I added an Inspire, little gold. I added one of the little tassels and then one of the little balls with the creamy orange that kind of backs up these roses and things. And then I just tied it with a little bit of string where I had punched it. I wanted this instead of a tassel because... If you see how it looks, that works perfect. That that works. It hangs perfect, and it looks good on this. Now, I've done a whole lot on the inside. Okay, let me show you. This is the first page. Now, the first page, it says, Elegance Portrait of a Lady. This is my background paper. This is another piece of paper and then a side piece. And I've done that because I created a pocket. So... Like I said, these a lot of these will be cut up to go in here, so it makes a pocket. On this side, I created another little sideways pocket, and it says, Believe in Yourself. And then, I've done 
this page, which it can hold a small picture, and I just put these little roses, but I left the netting sticking out on the side. I think that is just gorgeous. This, of course, is one in your pocket, so that's one of the pockets that was already created. But on this side, it's another pocket, as you can see. There's the little blank tags I have left. But this right here also has pockets in the middle. So I just slid ephemera in there that can be done later. That's just a little bitty writing space. But on this writing space, I fixed it where I can put some tags and stuff behind it. Same way here. This is another of the backgrounds, and this can just have a picture. This is just decoration. So on this one, Portrait of a Lady, and this is the next page with the, the pullout and the pocket. And then this is another pocket on this side. And like I said, the card can fit down in it. Another place for pictures or whatever. Or journaling, if you know, and uh, this right here. Now, this is not. This is just something I put in here. And it says uh, about the way a woman wishes they was loved and I love that that that's every woman I know's dream and I'm lucky my husband loves me to pieces and uh you know no matter how much money you got no matter um what they look like or anything what makes the difference is if they loved you unconditionally and you get through the bad times together and believe me, me and my husband, we go head to head sometimes, but no, we hang on tight. All right, there's another page, and I just put this beautiful portrait, and then these two little chimneys at the top and bottom. And then this one, it's about the perfumes and things, another pocket. This is another pocket right here that you can just, uh, well, some of these pockets are a little tight. I can't even get that one-handed, but there's two in it. As you can see, it's a pocket. That card's a little big to try to show pockets, but let me get a little smaller one. Yeah, there we go. See, there's a pocket all the way across there. And then, of course, it has the slide in, too. So, there's the next page. And then, you turn this, and this is Elegance is Beauty That Never Fades. And then, I've got the little portrait over here of the little lady. Got a little fuzz there. And uh, on in the middle of these where the white showed so bad, I just added uh, little pieces of the paper. So it just had a little more decoration to it. And I did not ink around these because I, I wanted this edging. But most of the time if you put something up, the inside doesn't get near as aged as the outside. So that's why the inside's not aged much. And then, again, another pocket, another side pocket, and then another pocket here. There, I got that part to show. All right, there, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And here's more of the little roses with the netting. And then on this back, I made it where it can hold a pretty good-sized tag. And like I said, I'm going to make some tags to go in it. But as far as all that now, it is pretty much complete. I might add a few things to it, but I really love this. And as you can see, it stays together. Um, I can lay it down, and you see it's just the perfect size. And even if I add tags to it and all, the way they gave me so much room to work, you know, it's not going to uh, create any bulk. And if I need to tie it, all I'll do is take a piece of probably the same trim and just make a big tie. I could go in here and and that might be a possibility and just do two holes, one on each side, so you know, and loop it through and tie it. But I haven't decided on that yet. But this is what I have done. So I hope you like this and I hope you you know, um like I said, I've never tried to make one, but this right here is it you know it's not bad at all, and when I started looking and checking and everything, it's pretty simple. And uh, uh, Crafty Crafts by Dina and several of the other girls, I just can't think right now, has made these start to finish, and they've got great techniques to go by. So when I ever do get ready to do another one and maybe you know make it my own, I'll you know 
start it from scratch. <laughs> we shall see. Y'all see, I don't have a lot of room that I work with. So, <laughs> anything's got to kind of fit in this area. So, I try to make the best way I can possible. All right. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that look, sneak peek, and like I said, I've got all my stuff. I had to put these in a bag and put them back in there, uh, but I keep everything kind of close to me when I'm working on it, and that way I know where it's at. I know how to finish it up, so like I said, make a few more tags, and these women are just beautiful, but they're, they're very simple. If you notice, none of these is just over the top. It's just beautiful, simplicity, you know, uh, innocent beauty. I love that fact. I love that. All right. Hope you sleep with angels tonight. Know I love you. God bless you all. Everybody keep safe. I'll be back from my trip uh, in a few more days, and uh, then we'll go from there. All right. Love you. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm. Bye.